They make it sound like this is the best thing for you to eat. What you think caviar is? Fish eggs. Ain't no scales and fins. You gonna pay all them high dollars for fish eggs? Shit her leaves. Well, you don't pay a lot, buddy. But what they do is, it's, it's from everything, it's whispered about. But it comes down to who pants prefer. If it's that lady over there that never clean up a bathroom or straight out the kitchen and got roaches, you ain't gonna eat chitlins from that. You should eat them anyway. Right. Go ahead, sis, what you got? You got to do Eggs are like the embryo from a chick. Well, there, there's some fine lines with that. What came first after its time? See, what we're talking about is what you can't eat from that from a fire. If the scrambled egg is an unnourished bird or, or not up to its it's not cut it off. And if, it's, if the egg is the issue, if it's seasoned in its mother's milk, but it's not seasoned in its mother's milk. Right? And that's and talking about a cow. From that, it's, it's, it's what she has that, that's over here, it grows into whatever it grows. You can't eat a baby chicken eat. But I understand exactly what you're saying, and that's a very good point because that's brought up a lot. But it says a seed, a kid. And that's that, a cow. And it's talking about that, so it's not. That's where the fine line comes in. He so, is so, a baby goat. So, he is a baby goat. So if, if you compare that to an egg, then there will have to be some right from it, or just to be on the safe side. If you feel that, and that's right there for you, don't eat eggs. We're not saying that you're wrong and everybody else that eat them is wrong, but there's no law for eating the egg of a chicken. It's, 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 if you eat the egg caviar and all these things, these are uncooked things. You at least don't cook the egg because we can't eat nothing wrong. No wrong here. Nothing wrong. So that's a, basically what they call a diet is. Raw meat. The scriptures say cook everything. Everything must be cooked. I, I don't care what you eat. It must be cooked. You can't eat raw meat because it has blood in it. So if you don't cook the eggs, but like I'm saying, so that's a very good point. And those are the kind that you study that it may weigh either way that, that uh, 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 Romans 6 is explaining. Some things, y'all, it may be unclean to you, but it has to be according to the law. And if there's no law about eating eggs when it's young, we can say all day that ain't in the law. But what we do know is in that you can't eat a one-year-old, uh, less than a one-year-old cat. That's recorded. Yeah, key is in is, uh, 1423, and it says a young goat. Right. So the law is not to, not to see the key in his mother's milk. The kid is a young goat, not just something that's young, but a young goat. And you call your children kids, right? Well, y'all. Children, children. Right. 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 So it's safe to say the genie on almonds are still on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but, but, but sister, that's a good point about the is It's something to be researched for whoever you. It's like the vegetarian did. There's nothing forcing you to eat meat. But you can't complain that meat is bad because meat is in the dietary law. Right. If you want to eat just vegetables, then you, the script say you can do that. If you want to eat vegetables and meat, according to law, there's certain vegetables that you can't eat. So it tells us seed bearing herbs and different things. So you, you have to be careful and do what's good for you. But uh, eggs, if you crack them open and put them in a rock, put them in there early and just gulp them down or however it means. The most I say, make sure you eat them in rock. Right, you know, I'm black folks say, I want the devil stuff running and stuff. <laughs> Over easy, they call it. No. Now, let's move on. We got about 15 minutes, y'all. I'm going to move on a little bit and uh, let's hit some Leviticus 12 right quick. Y'all going to get into to ourselves on how we cleanse our temple out of ourselves. And there's ritual laws. Of, this is going to explain the age of accountability. Well, it's not to try to put a number on it, but the number is when they body function or able to do a certain thing. Mm -hmm. 
you fall into that line. Hey, y'all also write down Ezekiel 22, verse 26. It says, her priests have violated my law and have profaned my holy thing. Uh -huh. They have put no difference between the holy and profane. Mm. Neither have they shown difference between the unclean and the clean. Oh. Between the what? The unclean and the clean. You have to show a difference between that. It ain't never going to be an all or nothing. That's why the vision in Acts 10 was for Peter not to call any man on uncommon or unclean. But what will make them uh, clean and not uncommon would be the law of statutes and judgment of our God. Cleanses them. Right, right. Go ahead. They have, they have shown, neither have they shown difference between the unclean and the clean, and have hid their eyes from my Sabbaths. And I am profane among them. Uh huh. So right there, that's what the Most High said again, what defiles a man, what you profane his name has come out of you, saying what you can do that's not authorized for you to do. God, like I say, we'll, some people get down to the pit picking of it. If we do a study on it and it says this is why it violates the law, because you know, go to Passover, some say you can't eat eggs because it fluff up. But you ain't with no yeast in that. <laughs> Was there yeast in the chicken? So we had eggs. So we can't go there because we don't want to keep dying to deeper and deeper into that. And then we really watching out for them. Just cut it out if you got a problem with it. Leviticus chapter 20. Hey, first of all, before we go any further, it's uh -huh. about the uh, mercury in the uh, water in the fish. It's not good nowadays to eat that fish, period, because of the mercury. Well, what we're talking about is there ain't nothing clean you can eat. If you want to kill vegetarian, you know what's falling on that lettuce. You have to grow it outside. That's right. That's Kim Trey. Everything, even if you grow it yourself, you get to a watermelon patch. When you go out there, you know what's all over the top of it. Right. Seeds are genetically modified. That's you right. You have the seeds from them. Monsanto. <laughs> or you just have to dig a row and all the kids around on the family union don't spit their real seed out in this tree. Then you know you get raw seeds. You know where they come from. But it's genetically modified. So the most I say any unclean thing that's attached to righteousness. He said, if it's out of your control, I'll take care of that. I read it real quick. Right. Go ahead. That right is down to Ezekiel chapter 4, about the unclean food. Uh -huh. Ezekiel chapter 4, verse 13, 17. What's that? Ezekiel 4 and 13. And the Lord said, even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, uh -huh. whither I will drive them. <clears throat> then said I, I, Lord Paul, behold, my soul hath not been polluted. For from my youth up, even to now, have I not eaten of that which dieth of itself, uh -huh. or was torn in pieces. What is that? Dieth of itself. Roll. 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 Yeah. Well, all I just dropped dead. Oh, all dropped dead. Had a heart attack. All roll key. Go ahead. Then said I, I, Lord God, behold. My soul has not been polluted, for from my youth up even till now have I not eaten of that which dieth of itself, or is torn in pieces. Neither came there abominable flesh to my mouth. Uh, Sounds like Peter, don't it? Right. Then he said unto me, Lo, I have given thee cow's dung for man's dung. Thou shalt prepare thy bread therewith. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, Behold, I will break the staff of bread, Jerusalem, and they shall eat bread by weight, and with curd, they shall drink water by measure, and with astonishment, that they may want bread and water, and be astonished one with another, and consume away for their initiative. See, and a lot of that happened on the slave plantation. When they scraped off the tables and went there to eat, you would eat the foul bread. They eat the sour grapes, but our teeth don't eat it. They was living in the lap of luxury, but we eat swine portions. The 
they scraped off the tape and brought down there. Just think about what you scrape off the plate and put in the dog bowl. Same thing. Watch the movie Goodbye on the Time. You get right in the act. Goodbye. Yeah, I remember that. Let's move on, y'all. Exodus, the baby chapter 12, y'all. We ain't got long. We got about 15 12. minutes, y'all. Verse 1. Uh -huh. And the Lord said, Y'all, we're going to roll through these quite quick, y'all. We're going to hurry up and get into what Christ is explaining these things and what's in this temple and how you got to maintain that. Go ahead. Leviticus chapter 12, verse 1. Uh -huh. And the Most High spake unto Moses, saying, speaking to the children of Israel, saying, if a woman have conceived seed and born a man child, then she shall be unclean seven days, according to the days of the separation of her infirmity. She shall be unclean. This don't make her what she's causing. It's just saying a male child, she's unclean after she has this many days. You cannot go into her. See, this is these are. These are knowing laws, or get to knowing laws. You can't want to. You gotta wait. What did they say? Six weeks now. Yeah. Six weeks now. You can't want to go there for six days later. You got to wait. <laughs> go ahead. Verse three. Ah. Uh -huh. And in the eighth day, the flesh of his foreskin shall be circumcised. Right. And she shall then continue in the blood of her purifying three and thirty days. So right here, either forty or forty-one days is forty days. That before a woman should really get back into relations with her husband. Or really to be safely out in public, so to speak, if there is some drama going on with that birth. You got to make sure you are absolutely right before you come and present this child. And on the eighth day, a male child must be circumcised. Why? Because on the eighth day, the blood, what's that word? Congratulate? What is it? Coagulates on the eighth day. To keep it from bleeding to death. And see, y'all, a lot of, like you may see that, that one movie that had Esau Jackson on YouTube, and it was showing them now like you circumcised from Raven and Dinah, yeah. and it just looked like they had it. And you be like, what they doing look like they done cut off what he need. <laughs> but what they do is pull the foreskin past and they get it with a hat. It shrink back and you keep on walking. They ain't getting no other points. Woo! But that skin even, stretches past and they hit it. He wasn't even looking. Right. And they hit Chomp. it. Right. Five. So if that was the case, they would have some type of circle of tools, but they didn't. The priest would grab it, hit next. <laughs> no way to that, bro. I got a second witness on that. You can just write it down real quick. Second uh -huh. witness on that in Jubilee chapter 3. Right, absolutely. Verse 9 through. Well, yeah, and it speaks of that and that was written in the heavenly tablet. Right. That's in the book of Jubilee. Let's read on. Great second witness from Mark uh, Go ahead. She shall touch no hollow thing, uh -huh. nor come into the sanctuary until the days of her purifying be fulfilled. Now, see, we got the sanctuary. What is our sanctuary that Jesus Christ took over? Is it talking about this place she can't come in here? This is where that program doing Monday through Friday. Right. There's an alcoholics in here. There's dope addicts in here. Some of which may be some of us. But they say you can't look at like she can't come down here. So since the temple, I think she has to know her body better than anybody. She know if I just had a boy child, I need at least these many days before I get the public game. Or you want to be just seen too soon if you jump the gun. But you as a woman has to know your temple that Christ is dwelling at, that you are not going to bring uncleanness to nobody else. If it's heavy, you can't be round for it. The old spaghetti thing don't come up. <laughs> but if she bear a maid child, but if she do what? If she bear a maid child, uh -huh. then 
she shall be unclean two weeks, uh -huh. and in her separation, as in her separation, and she shall continue in the blood of her purifying three score and six days. So that's 66 days plus the two weeks is 80 days that she having a female child. Why is this going on? There's something going on with the chromosomes that's different than a male child. So a woman has to understand that these things I'm going through this if I feel that I'm out of touch. And I should not be there because today, the household is headed by women. If they don't go to work, you out of work. If you sit on something at work, it's unclean. Most of us got one bathroom. Who going to the service station? Because you can't sit behind her. Give me a lot of hub caps with a key on in your life. <laughs> Where we at? Go ahead, boy. Verse 6. Uh huh. And when the days of her purifying are fulfilled, right. for a son uh -huh. or for a daughter, she shall bring a lamb right. of the first year for a burnt offering. For what year? Of the first year. See, and this is telling us we don't present a male child to the Lord until he's at least one year old. So when you see the Christian, uh, I mean the Catholicism baptizing a baby or doing what we call a christening, that's too early. Exactly. It's almost like the parents see the kid in his mother's milk. It's too early. Mm. One year old, this say present him to the devil. So yeah, we have to be extra careful that we understand these things. But at that time, the temple was Solomon's temple. These temples that you could not come play, that you could not come into the worship at that point because the priest was missing the holy. But when Christ pulled all that down, he became the temple. Women, men, it's on you to govern this. Don't come and you know if I sit right here, I put my hand on something like this, and then this problem is going on. Let's read some more, but we're going to get a little bit clearer on that. Go ahead, bro. She shall bring a lamb of the first year for uh -huh. her offering. Right. And a young pigeon or a turtle dove for a sin offering. So we know all of that's been changed with Christ now. Lord, you offer is your, Lord, I present this. If there are any transgressions, forgive me. And so when you hear that old song they sing around Christmas time, uh, 12 days, you know they're saying that Christ was present, presented at 12 days. This is totally different. When Mary presented him, he was the age he was supposed to be in the temple. Circumcised the age he's supposed to be when she presented him. And she offered the two turtle doves and did what she was supposed to do after offering Christ, but not before. Ain't no baptizing no babies. Ain't no sin on the baby, so to speak. Because if that baby is doing grown-up things and it's two months old or two days old, we got greater things to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it where we at. Continuation of six. Uh -huh. Or a turtle dove for a sin offering unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation and to the priest. See, we were bringing to the priest Christ as a high priest. So what you want to bring him is right and thought. Lord, should I go with different things, y'all? Because these things don't constantly come up. Come on. Well, somebody didn't want us just to be robots. He wanted us to converse with him. Ask him about things. Well, Lord, what about this law? How a woman going to do this? Look, if the Passover fall on this day, and it's that time for a woman, and then you have a next Passover 30 days, what's going to be the problem for her? It's going to happen again, ain't it? So you have to set things up separately for those things to go on a second pass over for traveling or this may be the problem because she cannot or he cannot say, because of this, I could not keep your law. We can never say that. It ain't going to never drop down to 612 law because it's that time. Now, go ahead. We're going to go right here flip right to 15 of the best. And this is going to get into some things both men and women. And y'all understand when they say you are unclean, that don't mean you are defiled. There's things that make it defiled. Your actions after you know someone is in an unclean state. She didn't look like she had AIDS. Mm. <laughs> 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 
Mark. Leviticus chapter 15, verse 1. And the Most High spake unto Moses and to Aaron, saying, uh -huh. Speak unto the children of Israel, right. and say unto them, When any man have a ruddy issue out of his flesh. See, we're talking about men here too. This ain't just talking about what's coming out of a woman. Go ahead. This charge. Running issue. Y'all understand what does a running issue mean? You can't turn it off. When you can't turn a faucet off, what you got to do? You got to get it fixed or it goes to what? Go ahead. 
Verse 6. Uh -huh. And he that sitteth on anything whereon he sat that hath an issue shall wash his clothes and bathe himself in water and be unclean until the eat. So how would we ever know that? Can anybody explain that? How would we know that somebody in here right now sitting on something that we should be seeing? <laughs> Who knows? How do you know significant other should know? Right. That's the only person. Why do you think the only mark that the most high put on a man for circumcision? What that mark at? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who should sorry. always see that mark? That's it. So it ain't no deal like what Satan make you mold here and put it here where the public can see. But where the most high says circumcision can be, ain't nobody should be keeping that level of record. So basically, when people send in selfies of themselves, okay. circumcised, it's, it's a defilement. Right. It is showing your covenant <laughs> has been exposed. Go ahead. Verse 7. Uh -huh. And he that touches the flesh of him that hath an issue shall wash his clothes and bathe himself in water and be unclean until the evening. You see, the person that comes in contact with this, as soon as it's evening or a new day starts, you are clean again. And this gets to, when we get further down in here, and this is just regular man and woman being fruitful and multiplying, you are still unclean to eat. How do we know somebody who, last night, they sitting up in here, ain't, ain't got the right. You don't know. It can be out the middle and they're sitting up in there. They sit in the chair, you were sitting there last week. You gonna sit in that one next week? Y'all, so we can't compel into the The Most High is telling us these laws got to be up here. You got to know you better than anybody. You can't come in here with a cold, hacking and coughing and think this gonna keep it from spreading to everybody else. And you know it's the case they made told us today. But I gotta get down there to class. <laughs> There's <laughs> <laughs> somebody in there. Frrrr! Frrrr! Now, if you can't stand in at a restaurant, go ahead and read on your Verse 8. Um, and if he that had an issue, Spit upon him that is uh, that is clean, uh -huh. then he shall wash his clothes and bathe himself in water and be unclean until the evening. See, and most of us want to do that anyway. Let somebody be talking to you and spit in your food or fish, spit in your face while they eat, while, while they chew. Yeah, I told that black like, look. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like a fish shot all over my head. <laughs> don't spray. And let it get in your food. I don't care if it get spray. on the head of your friend. You're going to push it to the side of the green stuff. Because a little leaven left in the whole No, I'm just saying your mental psyche, if you do that for food, the most high want us to understand that yeah, I when you're it. talking about this his, his separating clean from unclean, if you think about that, about your food like that, then you have to think about his separation laws on that same level like that. If you want pick that little bit out that's spinning your food and keep eating them, how are you going to not pay attention to his clean and unclean law? And that's just a little bit old piece of the brain. And this going to make you bleed. <coughs> Let's get it. Where we at? Verse 9. Uh -huh. And what saddle soever he rideth upon that has the issue shall be unclean. Now y'all know that's going to be a problem. You can't ride a horse now. Uh -huh. Can't ride a car. Can't ride a car. Bus. Ooh, that's right. I know you were able to tell the story. <laughs> yes, I did. <clears throat> did you put some down on the seat? No, I didn't. Damn, I can't go to work tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no, y'all. Let's get some more. Verse 10. Uh -huh. And whosoever touches anything that was under him. Under who? Under him. Y'all, we are talking about a male here. See, women well, I know a lot of times because things are used as menstrual fault and rags and this is a man with a running issue that got the same issue here. He's got uncleanness in his body. He need not be publicly nowhere unless that has been put in check. 
whether you got to go get some trimethaphaline or whatever they were <laughs> 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 Clothes.